Hello everybody, I am Ricky Nelson and this is The Vent. So we're gonna start this off by talking about the Midnight Train virtual concert. And that shit was off the chain, man. Saudi Soul changed the game. As in, everything about that concert was perfect. I have to say, before this, a few weeks ago, Chimano took some flack about his personal choices. And if you have that amount of talent, man, do what the hell you want, man. As long as you can deliver as such standards, do what you want. It's your life, man. I don't know if you're going to see this, Chimanu, but you're the bomb, man. Your performance on Saturday night was just amazing. And then this boys sang my favorite song of this album. When that guitar fast started, and then they went like, when I get sober, I get my act together, I will put my life in order. Yeah, I can sing, man. I have a lot of hidden talents, people. Anyway, so today we are here to talk about Mike Oliver. Today we are here to talk about Mike Oliver. If you do not know who I'm talking about, I do not know where you live, but this stuff was all over the place. So Mike Oliver had the time of his life. Man, call it what you want, but this guy had the time of his life. A few weeks ago, there were all these pictures with all these random women. Yeah, uh, let's, let's call them conquests. And after this, this ladies came online and said all this stuff about Mike Oliver. They said a lot of things. And Mike kept quiet. But over the weekend, Mike spoke up. And Mike said some things, some real things. If I'm just to paraphrase some of them, one, Kenyan women are cheap. Not my words, this, this is Mike, not me. Do not kill the messenger on this one. Uh, it was the color of his skin that helped him. Uh, ladies melt when they see a dollar. It was not rape. Uh, it was all consensual. And when it's all put in black and white, man, he's speaking the truth. But what I want to bring your attention to is Mike Oliver's ending remarks. And this man signed off his speech by saying, To all you cheap women, you can block me on social media, but you cannot unmoan my name. Damn! If that's not a mic drop moment, I don't know what is. But how do you come back from that? You can block me on social media, but you cannot unmoan my name. Damn. As I let you marinate in that for a minute, I just want to say thank you for everyone who has liked, supported me in any way when it comes to this stuff. This is just a journey that I'm beginning and it is so hard yet so much fun so thank each and every one of you if it's your first time here please subscribe to my channel you can do so by clicking on the little red button underneath this video but what i really do need from each and every one of you people share my stuff man that is the best gift you could give me just send it to a friend who you think might like this madness because in the end all this is just for fun so if you feel that that friend of yours is just as messed up as you are. Hit that share button. <laughs> Let them join this messed up journey. So what is the moral of this story? Or what am I trying to say with this little piece? You can block me on social media, but you cannot unmoan my name.